Welcome to Corvidad's Garage. Well, as you can see, I'm starting to work on the back wall over there, trying to get uh, uh, it to look a little bit more livelier. Uh, anyway, uh, in this episode, we are going to put the lungs back on uh, the Corvette. Uh, we're also going to cover small block Chevy valve covers, uh, the technique I used. Uh, back in the day, in my younger days, uh, I used to slap them on and I couldn't figure out why uh, they were leaking. Well, I figured it out. Anyway, uh, we will get to all this right after this. another episode of Corvette Edge Garage. Um, well, since we last uh, uh, touched this car, we already put back the water pump. Uh, we got the brackets back, uh, the power steering pump back on. Um, before I go any further than that, I'm going to go ahead and install the, uh, um, the intake, uh, the runners, and the pellum. Um, uh, that way we can get uh, we'll probably we'll be putting the uh, valve covers on tomorrow um, hopefully but uh, a little update uh, with uh, what's going on with me uh, I've been uh, working out for uh, four to five days a week uh, it's very painful milk was a bad choice uh, some days I can't even hack it but you know what I keep pushing on uh, unfortunately, um, with that going on, I'm not able to get to the Corvette until the weekend. So I've dedicated uh, Saturday, Sunday just for the Corvette uh, until my body gets used to uh, working out again. Um, it's only temporary. Uh, once the body gets used to it uh, and the pain is minimal, um, I should be back on this uh, uh, full time once again. But uh, with that being said, uh, let's move on to the intake. Boom! Shakalaka! Well, I didn't think it was going to take me as long as it did. But uh, unfortunately it did. It took me the whole day. I had to uh, pull the fuel rail off and, uh, to get in there and uh, clean up that old gasket material that was on the uh, manifold. So, uh, that took me. That was that was quite a challenge, and my back giving out too. So, uh, but I got the runners on. I just felt like running. Uh, tomorrow's another day. Of course, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see everything done before the video comes out. So there you go. There. Uh, uh, that's one of the uh, benefits of following me on Instagram. Otherwise, you'll wait till the video and you'll be able to see it all all together, which is yeah, pretty much the same, you know. Uh, but there's a strong gathering on Instagram there, a uh, Corvette gathering. So, uh, them first, and then uh, it comes out on the video again. Tomorrow's another day. Well, what the hell do you think about this heat, huh? I know I'm not the only one that's having to deal with this crap. Uh, makes it really hard to come out here in this garage, you know, I, uh, I, by the way, notice new lighting, uh, nice and bright here now, uh, I did that a while ago, though, uh, anyway, uh, uh, I got, uh, insulation in this garage, uh, up on top there, yeah, uh, and, uh, didn't really make a big difference, but, or anything after 95 degrees, it's pretty hard to work in here, so, uh, but today's been a good day. Uh, I mean, it got as hot as 108 here in the last 10 days. So. Because you could melt all this stuff. So, 
that's pretty wicked, man. It's been brutal out here. But anyway, I, what I thought I was going to film flawlessly through, uh, looks like I'm having to uh, do it in segments. So, as you can see, the uh, in intake is on, the uh, valve covers, they're not quite on yet because I had to order some new uh, bolts. Uh, and uh, they had to be a little bit longer than what I had uh, so I'm going to get ready to cinch that down and uh, get the uh, throttle body on I'll probably, uh, we'll probably uh, film that real quick that, that's really not a big deal it's really easy to put the throttle body on but other than that I'll put everything else back on and get this thing ready to fire up well wait, 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 wait before everybody starts throwing bricks at me I'm not going to hurt you I'm just gonna bash your brains in. Yeah, we're still doing the supercharger. Um, I just wanna fire everything up, uh, make sure that I got no leaks, uh, everything's uh, running uh, uh, the way it's supposed to. All right, it's time to throw the uh, throttle body on. Uh, just one thing to point out that there is a vacuum line that goes underneath that uh, throttle body. Um, and uh, pretty simple uh, you, you really only got four bolts um, and a gasket in between and uh, now what I found odd was the factory service manual was telling me that uh, the uh, torque specification for the uh, throttle body was 8 to 18 inch pounds um, that comes out to about one pound one, one foot pound that's uh that's really really low um not sure why it's showing that but uh i'm going to do some research on it i don't believe that it is 18 inch pounds 18 foot pounds sounds more like it so um i guess there could be a possibility that there's a misprint on that i don't know uh factory service manuals are usually pretty thorough uh, I guess there could be um, uh, uh, mistakes. Uh, I haven't really found a factory service manual that had a mistake like that, but um, this could be the one time that uh, proves to uh, have a mistake. Um, anyway, so now uh, the, I got the, um, uh, the, the throttle body torque. I'm throwing on the throw at the top of the plate now I, I the ri original one said two port injection and uh, I spent some time painting the two port injection in red but um, uh, you know and, and the torque specification for the throttle body cover plate is about 30 inch pounds which is about two and a half foot pounds of torque now uh, here are the ga this valve cover gasket uh, I like to clean the uh, um, valve cover off and you notice that there's no flanges overlapping that where the gasket goes so um, this is one of the reasons what I was having back in the younger day one of the issues I was having back in the younger days uh, and basically I, I use cork gaskets cork gaskets work really good um, especially when you set it back on the head when it's done now the, I use uh, Permatech high temp uh, tax sealant uh, it's red and I like to uh, throw the sealant on there generously um, and it's just on the one side just a cork gasket to the valve cover it's not necessary to put it on both sides um, and then once I uh, do that I'll go ahead and let it dry once it's dry I'll go ahead and apply the valve cover back onto the head and we'll torque it down to sport specification and in my application uh, torque specification is 50 inch pound and that's the procedure I use after doing some uh, research on the throttle body's torque specification it uh, turns out that the factory service manual was incorrect it's actually 8 to 18 foot pounds of torque not the uh, inch pounds so it's okay to question something uh, but just do the research and in this case uh, I came out ahead nothing goes over my head my reflexes are too fast. Well, that was easy. Yeah, right. God damn it, Smith! I uh, got finished with doing the uh, valve covers. They're all in. Valve covers are 50 inch pounds. That's not very much either. 
Uh, I already showed you the trick on, uh, uh, on uh, small block Chevy valve covers. So as long as you follow that method, you shouldn't have any leaks. Where's my super suit? So there you have it there, guys. Uh, she's looking pretty good. Uh, it's coming out the, the way I expected it to. Uh, while I have it on my, let's uh, cover the torque specification for the runners and the penum, which is about 22 to 25 foot pounds of torque. Well, that should cover all, pretty much cover everything. Uh, well, uh, this is it for episode number six, and uh, looking forward to doing episode number seven. Uh, hopefully, we'll have um, the radiator and uh, uh, everything else on so we can do a fire up. So, then don't forget to subscribe if you want to see any more of these uh, videos come out, and uh, we'll see, we'll catch you on episode number uh, seven. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you then. Take care.